السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی میڈ دس ویڈیو فار یو ٹو ریوائز دا ٹام ٹو لائک الیکٹریسٹی چیپٹرز اینڈ ریڈیو ایکٹیویٹی ایز ویل اینڈ دیر از دس ویڈیو از فار کوئز پریپریشن ایز ویل سو بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربی شرح دی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل العقدم السانی یفق قولی Rabizat the ilma, rabizat the ilma, rabizat the ilma. Let's start uh, the, your quiz preparation. The very first question is, a simple device that opens and closes an uh, electrical circuit is called a volt, a discharge, a switch or an ampere. Yes, it is a switch. Next is, name two methods of discharging insulators. Like, what are the methods? by which we can discharge the insulators. Yes, there are two methods. Heating, we can uh, discharge an insulator by heating and by putting it in the humid environment. Next question is, 1 volt is equal to what? 1 volt is equal to joule per coulomb. Now, if a charge rod is bring nearer to a conductor, X what will be the charge induced on the y side of the so what will be the charge on the end y charge induced on end, end y yes the negative charges will be attracted and they will be at point x and the positive charges will repelled and will be gather on the end y so and y will get positive charge next question is what is meant by earthing Yes, earthing is the process to discharge a conductor in which excess electrons uh, moves away or towards the charged conductor from the ground to make it neutralize. Next question, name two applications of static electricity. There are two applications written over here. Photocopier machine and the spray painting used the principle of static electricity. Next is as a unit of electrical circuits, sorry, electrical current. What is the SA unit of electrical cu- electric current? And that is, yes, ampere. Next question is, what is the current in the ammeter? The circuit is shown over here. And you can see that there is 10 volt battery attached with a 2 kilo ohm resistor with an ammeter. What will be the current in the ammeter? You can use the Ohm's law. The formula is equal to V by R in which V is 10 volts and R is the resistance. 2 kilo ohm means 2000 ohms. 10 divided by 2000 will be equal to 0. 0.005 amperes. So, why resistance of ammeter is kept very small? This is a very important question. Uh, this resistance of the ammeter is kept very small so that it can measure the accurate value of current. The cor- uh, the cor- voltage with corresponding current and you will get the resistance the value of resistance that is constant that is 5 ohm 10 divide 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 ohms next question is a negatively charged rod is brought close to an isolated t-shaped piece of metal initially the metal is uncharged which diagram shows the induced charge on the metal definitely the nearer as the charge is negatively the rod is negatively charged so how will it uh, induce the charges on the metal t-shaped metal piece uh, it, the nearer end will get opposite charge and the farther end will get ne- similar charge like this and is the nearer one to this negatively charged so this end will get positive charge and negative charges from this metal piece will repel to this end next question is Which diagram correctly shows the electric field pattern between two charged spheres? Yes, electric field comes out of the positively charged materials and uh, it is pointed into the negatively charged particles. So, the B option will be correct because in this, the electric field is coming out of the positively charged spheres. While the, in the others, the, there is wrong description wrong pattern is shown and other options state ohm's law 
current passing through a conductor is directly proportional to the voltage across it if the physical conditions remains constant. Next is what are the limitations of Ohm's law? This is a very important question. What are the limitations of the Ohm's law? Ohm's law is limited to the conductors whose temperature and physical conditions remains constant on the application of voltage or on the passage of current. Next is a unit of energy. What is the unit of energy among this? Watt, kilowatt or ye joule second. Kilowatt R is the unit of energy. Formula for electrical power is, which one is the formula from, for electrical power? That is, P is equal to IV. So, B option is correct. Next is, alpha particles are similar to what? Yes, alpha particles are similar to helium nuclei, but not helium atom. Gamma radiations are, Gamma radiations are negatively charged, neutral, electromagnetic waves, or both A and B. Sorry, both B and C. Yes, they are neutral, they are electromagnetic waves, so D option is correct, they, both B and C. Next is comment on the current and voltage across the components in the C series circuit. Current is same in each component and voltage divides across the components in the series circuit. SA, what is the SA unit of EMF? Volt, ohm, ampere or watt? Yes, it is volt. Mathematical form of Ohm's law is its V is equal to IR. Remember that. What is the difference between resistance and resistivity? Resistance changes with length and cross-sectional area while resistivity do not depend upon length, cross-sectional area, temperature or anything else. It just depends on the material. Define half-life. What is meant by half-life? It is the time in which half of the radioactive nuclei decays. Now, the above device is named as what? Electroscope, cloud chamber, rate meter or Giger-Muller counter? Yes, it is Giger-Muller counter or GM tube. Which radiations can be measured with this device? Beta only, alpha, beta, alpha, beta and gamma. Yes, alpha, beta and gamma, these are three radiations. These three can be counted, can be, my, uh, can be detected by GM tube. What is the SI unit of charge? That is Coulomb. Electric current equation is I is equal to Q divided by T. The force between the nucleus and the electron is. What is the force between this nucleus and this electron? That is electrostatic force of attraction. Of nucleus that attracts the nucleus and binds the new uh, the uh, uh, attracts the electron and binds the electron and revolve it around the nucleus. What is the S unit of charge that is Coulomb? And electric current equation is I is equal to Q by T. Next question is the cells, lamps, and the resistor and the circuits are identical. In which circuit is the lamp the brightest? The lamp which is having the smallest resistance will uh, the circuit which is having the smallest total resistance will in in that circuit the lamp will be the brightest so you can see over here as resistors have similar value so where they are there are two resistors uh, two similar resistors are in parallel in that circuit the very sm the smallest resistance will be offered but in which they are C in series there is maximum resistance will be offered and in which there are three resistors, there will also be more resistance. And if there is one resistance, there will be th that will be more than if two are two identical are in parallel attached in parallel. So C option is correct because in this minimum resistance is offered and bulb will be the brightest. What will be the effect of adding one ohm resistor in parallel on total current of the circuit? As I told you that if the two identical resistors are in parallel, they're total resistance will be less than the individual even one uh, the resistance of uh, one resistor will be more than the sum of the two parallel resistors so that's why uh, that's why the total current will get increased because uh, in parallel combination the total resistance decreases what will be the effect <coughs> of adding one ohm resistor in parallel on voltage across the ohm to ohm resistor as we know that two resistors are in parallel, so 
the same voltage will be applied across these two resistors so voltage won't affect won't be affected so that will remain same which graph shows how the current changes with the voltage across the fixed resistance is varied yes fixed resistor is a is an ohmic material and ohmic material have such like graphs straight line graphs next is name the circuit symbols this symbol is variable resistor and this symbol is for these symbols are for fixed resistors now how the uh, how do the resistance of wire related to its cross sectional area next question is and the answer is they are inversely related the more the cross sectional area the thicker the wire the less the resistance will offered by that wire there are some circuit symbols you can see it for a while and next we have to answer the questions name the circuit symbol ammeter cell battery diode symbol of fuse from the following is which one is the symbol of fuse yes this one is the symbol of fuse symbol of voltmeter from the following is this one very easy which nucleus is produced when a maritian 241 emits an alpha particle remember that when an alpha particle is emitted when alpha decay happens what happens to the uh, par parent nuclei the atomic number decreases by 2 and atomic masses decreases by 4 units so 241 will be decreased and will become the atomic mass will become 237 and atomic number 95 will decreased by 2 units and it will become 93 so neptune neptunium 237 by 93 a option is correct what is meant by fission fission is the splitting up of nuclei large nuclei into a smaller nuclei by emission of energy alpha particles pass through an electric field or magnetic field how is the path of the electric particles affected by these fields yes alpha particles are the charged particles so they are deflected by electric field and magnetic field both so a option is correct next is complete the nuclide equation for emission of beta particles by sodium 24 Sodium twenty four twenty four is the atomic mass eleven is the atomic number. If beta particles emitted, it means beta particle has zero atomic mass and one atomic number. Like we can say, and as the beta particles emitted, the atomic number increases by one and atomic mass remains same. As you can see, atomic mass will remain same twenty four and atomic number will be increased by one. That is twelve. That's all. Thank you.